Hi everyone, welcome to this week's vocal workout video. Um, so we're going to start off um, just with, with a little bit of uh, sort of mezzo di voce work. Uh, so we're going to just start with this. Um, so you just go up four notes very quietly. Don't try and crescendo until you get to the high note and then try and crescendo without using your, your throat at all. Okay, and... As with all these exercises, honesty is the is the main thing. If you, if you make it, if you sing like ten pigs as you do it, that's absolutely fine. So long as you're honest with yourself and and don't try and use any extra muscles to try and keep that sound steady. Okay, let it be as it is, and then you can start to develop it with your breath. is tilting um which is the difference for me between uh, and uh, so it's is that roundness in the sound um and the lack of edge in the sound and that's what we're after that you get stuck in that crescendo you can drop the drop it back a little bit drop, drop the volume back a bit and then increase again okay so we're going to now just do an, an ooh exercise also as a mezzo di voce excuse me a second so we're going to do The, we change from U to R as we've done often before, but we try and make that change part of a crescendo. Okay. Just heard my voice crack. It's the first thing I've done singing wise today, um, and and that can happen. And I'm going to leave that in because it's really important that you know that these things happen while you're doing it. Just try it again. So all I'm going to do is go and do exactly the same thing again. And it may well crack in the same way, or it may well be that the vocal cords are a little bit more flexible. But it's really important that you're honest enough to know that that happens not because you've done anything wrong, but because you, your vocal cords or your breath weren't quite ready. <laughs>
Good. Um, yeah, going back to that, I, 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 I know that I spend a lot of time allowing things to go wrong in order to find the easiest way to do them. We can, we can stop ourselves cracking. We can stop ourselves having um, anything that sounds sort of like imperfection to us. Um, but, but always that diminishes our own sound and what we're putting into it. So it's, it's useful just to let those things happen. Okay, so um, now we've, we've often done this before. Um, but what I want you to do is do it really easily, really quite quietly, and then give me a little bit of a crescendo on the high note. So we get. Okay, just so you're giving that a little bit more breath on the top note. Let's try that again. And. trying to develop with these exercises is the feeling that you can crescendo to your full voice without engaging your vocal cords whenever you, or without engaging your throat muscles at all. When you start a note quietly you don't have a preconceived idea about what it should sound like and it's much more likely to resonate where it's meant to resonate by the laws of physics and nature. When you sing loudly, you're much more likely to try and manipulate it. Um, and all I'm trying to do is get you to to start it where it wants to be and then crescendo it there. So try here. Good, very, very well done. So we're going to go into this, just trying to trill whilst keeping the voice in the same place. So we do. I want you to try to avoid the clunk that often happens. Because I want that change to be only in your head. I want you to concentrate on your breath moving towards your head and that you change the notes only in your mind so that you don't have to make a big clunk here. Okay, add. It feels like a much smaller movement. Um, then we're gonna try one up the other way. If you have trouble doing it without a clunk, don't go too fast. Okay, now we're gonna alternate between starting at the bottom and, bottom and the top. Especially as you get to the stage as you are now where you're in two separate registers 
then you're going to find that the the, the, the feeling of clunkiness here <laughs> will it'll be harder to avoid that. So you just have to concentrate really hard on this feeling. It's really really simple thought. <laughs> And I recommend that the best way to do that is on the slow ones to slide, really slide between the two notes um, and then try and maintain that feeling as you do the fast ones. OK, let's try there again. And... If this gets to be too much for you up here, then don't worry. Just don't do it. Um, but just keep it nice and easy. There's no reason why you can't sing up here. Um, but you just won't be able to last as long doing it. Try here. If you're struggling in any way with that, just doing this by the side of it. Or better still, if you want to try and keep it in the one place, will help you more. Okay, just try that out. Now try up here and start already turned. Good, okay. So we're going to try this uh, down here. too low for one or two of you so just sing it uh, just pretend to sing it at the bottom and then join in whenever your voice allows you to breathe out as if you're going to sing and just allow your voice to join in when it's ready okay and now this is actually a falsetto exercise so you just sing really really easily sending your breath always to your head and no engagement here okay and Keep it easy, don't push yourself up to the high notes. Through the break of your voice and into the top of your voice there um, uh, for most of you that's that's beginning to reach the top um, and um, the important thing is that you keep your throat relaxed so keep the back of your tongue up and try and uh, try and feel that everything stays open um, don't let anything collapse and your stomach muscles will then start to work for you okay let's try there again Just by accepting that things can go wrong, um, but but not putting any pressure on your voice, it starts to warm up. You treat it kindly, you treat it with with respect and and love, and it will it will start to work for you. Really well done. Have a have a really good week.